I do hereby swear that the evidence I'm going to give in this court pertaining to the matter at hand will be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So help me God. Thank you, Your Honor, I am number 88400. Police Constable Adumani Asmani. Adumani Asmani. Asmani. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, currently, this one that this line of work. Honor, I perform investigative duties among other duties that I spend from time to time. Your Honor, I do remember it was on a Thursday, the next day was a Friday. At around midnight, I received a call from. Um, my boss was by then uh, the deputy DCIO. Yes. Uh, it was the midnight, the, um, the midnight of um, Friday. It was, uh, it was 12. 12 Friday, it was a Friday. It was slightly past midnight. 12 of May 2023, Your Honor. <coughs> yes, I received a call from um, the deputy DCIO by then. Names are um, Dr. Samson Lengopito. And uh, or DCI in Apple West. Uh, Your Honor, he informed us that uh, together with uh, two other officers, we would join him at our offices uh, the following morning and uh, he would brief us further. So, the following morning, Your Honor, uh, at around uh, five or six, he called us. And we gathered at uh, September Police Station, three officers plus the deputy DCIO. We boarded uh, our motor vehicle and headed to Lanet Police Station. Johanna, upon arrival at Lanet Police Station, Uh, we were three officers plus the deputy DCIO, so it was all of us. Um, we left September Police Station and headed to Lanet Police Station, where upon arrival, we found a contingent of other officers who had already assembled. Uh, we were a group of about 20 officers, Your Honor. Uh, at Lanet, we, we found uh, Mr. Langat, who was the DCIO. Nakuru North by then, the superintendent of police, and the
uh, the purpose of being there was because he had received uh, an intelligence report that uh, there was a large number of people who had gathered in one homestead within Wanyororo area and the purpose and motive of their meeting was not known and the purpose of the operation that was being conducted that morning was to go and raid the homestead and find out who the people were and why they were there. Yohona, each and every officer was assigned a specific role in the operation that was going to take place. And I personally was assigned to be part of the team that would condone the whole operation area. Honor, uh, when we go to the homestead, the officers who are in uniform approached the gate first because it was still in the early morning hours. And they knocked on the gate, and the, the gate man showed up. They explained themselves and said that we were police officers and we were there on operation duties. At first, Johanna, the gate man, hesitated to open for us the gate. We had to stay outside for some time, uh, approximately 10 to 15 minutes before he later agreed to open the gate. Yohana, upon entry at the homestead, together with my team that we had been um, assigned the duties of London, we positioned ourselves as the rest of the officers strategically approached each and every house that is in the homestead. Your Honor, yes, I did. I was inside the compound. What did you say about strategically? Uh, as we positioned ourselves on the ground where we were, uh, we had been assigned the duties, there were other officers who approached the, the houses in the homestead. So, Yohana, uh, when the teams got to the different houses, uh, they gave. I hear you mention houses. Do you know how many houses there are? 
There were other houses made of timber. So, Your Honor, the operation uh, continued and um, it took about the whole, uh, the, the entire operation took roughly an hour, Your Honor in which during the operation eight gentlemen were were brought together from the different houses and all of them were assembled at that main house Your Honor, I may not know much about what happened inside the houses, but after the operation, we managed to recover two firearms. The team that were conducting the search, sorry, Your Honor, had managed to recover two firearms. There were some narcotic drugs. Yes, uh, two firearms, there were narcotic drugs, and then there were some written materials. Your Honor, after the entire operation had been concluded, we went, we all went into the, into that main house where the suspects were, had been held as we took over duty. Guarding them. Yes, Your Honor. That is where I saw the same recovery. Yes, Your Honor. What happened thereafter? Uh, Your Honor, at that point, crime of scene personnel were called at the scene, whereby um, the in charge by then, Chief Inspector Wahome Kamore, came. And he documented the scene and took photographs. Yes, yes Chief. Yes, please, Your Honor, may he repeat about the scene of crime? Yes, uh, the scene of crime personnel were called, whereby Chief Inspector Wahome Kamore came to the scene and documented it. Wahome Kamore. Uh, thereafter, Your Honor, the regional DCI commander, Mr. Wanjao, and the CCIO, Mr. Hassan, both came. They joined us, they did us a, a debrief, and we left. Uh, the CCIO and the, uh, and the RCIO came. They gave us a debriefing at the scene, and then we left for the DCI offices in Nakuru. Thank you so much for explaining the situation. Uh, the the entire team that uh, had conducted the operation, Your Honor, uh, together with uh, the suspects that by then had been arrested. That we were guarding, we escorted them to
after making sure that um, Yes, your honor. That is all I wish.